Hi, I'm Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to make a website with CSS. Let's go to our computer. As you can see, I have two files here. One is main2.css and the other is mypage.htm. Now this is our web page. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. This is a very simple page with a header and a link on it. Now if I view the source of this page by right clicking on it and going to view source, you can see it's an extremely simple page. It has a header and a title. And here is the, this, the bit large, this is my web page. And here is the link. As you can notice, there's no color formatting. There's no size formatting on this page whatsoever. It's just blank, uh, you know, text entry basically and simple HTML elements. Now what's a little strange here is this link tag, which is pointing, which is uh, relative as a, sty a style sheet and it's pointing to main.css. Now there's no main.css right now because I've renamed that to main2 and that effectively disabled it. So I'm going to open up my CSS page. As you can see, I have my tags, body, header1, and anchor, and inside of those tags I have descriptions of how they should appear. So like under my body, I want the background color to be green. Under my header, I want the color to be yellow. And in my tag, I want the color of the tag to be white, and I want it to be larger than normal by 25%. So if I wanted to apply that to this, I'm going to re-enable that style sheet by changing this to say main2.css, which will correctly link it in. I'm going to save that and refresh. You can see there's immediate formatting changes to the web page without me changing my code on the web page whatsoever to set the body background color to green or anything like that. That's all controlled by the style sheet. So if I wanted my body background color to be red, I would just change it to red, save, and now my background color is red. So that change was made in the style sheet. Now the benefit of this is that multiple pages can link to a single style sheet and therefore have a consistent look and feel between every single page. So all you have to do is create a CSS file, link that file into your HTML, and then put each of your HTML elements with the formatting that you would like. I'm Dave Andrews, and I've just showed you how to build a web page with CSS.